This is Anna with Anything GOE, and I'm here in Overstarf with Daria Grimm and Mikhail Savitsky. Hello. <laughs> uh, it's great to get to talk to you at your home base and to see a little bit of your training before the start of the season. Um, so how has the summer been for you? Uh, challenging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it started out pretty good. Then he got sick a few times. Then he got sick again. Now I'm a little bit sick. But overall, the practice was still going good. So. Yeah, we had we've had test skates uh, this summer. It's just actually weird because at the beginning of July. I was sick and that, and that happens to me pretty much every year. It's kind of like a tradition at this point that on my birthday, I get sick oh. for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but then yeah, we recovered. We practiced for the test skates. We did, we did the test skates. I come back and I'm sick again. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> flat out in bed for 10 days. Uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been quite challenging. The beginning of the season was easier. We had all the choreographies done pretty much very early in the season. And we thought, yeah, nice. We'll we'll have some uh, good preparation this time around. But yeah, like it happens. It is what it is. <laughs> so we got to deal with it now. But uh, I think we're on a good track, though. Yeah. So then you're probably not thrilled to have an early Grand Prix because you've only got a couple more weeks here for before Riga. I mean, we try to take the early Grand Prix so that we have uh, some time to prep for seniors because we want to do both uh, categories this year around. Uh, we wanted to do a few early junior Grand Prix, hopefully qualify for the uh, finals, then switch to seniors for the duration, then do a few challengers here and there, and then come back to juniors for the finals. So that was the plan. Now it's yeah. quite a bit more challenging, a little tough, but yeah, yeah I but think I think, I think we, we can do it. I think last year we had uh, more challenges before the Grand Prix, so I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, we're used to it. <laughs> yeah, you know that you can still show up and do what you need to do, even if your preparation isn't ideal. Yeah. And so with that skating senior, that means that you also have had to do a senior rhythm dance as well as the junior. How tough is that to have to choreograph and prepare for both? Um, the free dance was not that challenging because we just had to add two elements. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of, we did kind of differently, not just put the elements at the end or at the beginning. We put them in between the other things we do in the um, junior. So we had to change the transitions a little bit, but I think we managed to do that well. Yeah, for the render dance, we don't have the senior rhythm dance yet because mm -hmm. we focus more on the test skates and then all the sicknesses and all the obstacles. But yeah, but um, we'll do the senior rhythm dance, I think, after the Grand Prix and then we'll try to get in, in shape for, for the challengers. But yeah, so far we have the senior free dance, the junior free dance, and the junior rhythm dance. And is your thought of doing it that way to sort of get a jump on that? maybe challenging first year senior transition? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted to throw our name out there in the senior category as well, because it's, of course, it's a whole different thing, skating in juniors than skating in seniors. So yeah, we just wanted to try it out. And especially since next season's Olympic season. And uh, so yeah, we wanted to kind of, you know, get used to it a season before the Olympic season. So in the Olympic season, we can maybe take on our fellow fellow Germans, and yeah, we'll see about that. Ooh, yes, so, so you've got some inter-rank, inter-country competition, perhaps. Exactly, exactly, but um, I don't think we'll cross this year, so it's going to be even more exciting next year. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that's great. So I want to talk about your new programs, and so for the rhythm dance, you've got kind of a disco vibe going on, so how did you figure out what kind of approach you wanted to take to this rhythm dance and then the specific music that you chose. So we've talked a lot with our coaches and they said specifically that the 50s, 60s and 70s were really fun, entertaining years. So we wanted to make as much of a fun, kind of quirky, little gimmicky program as possible. So especially in the choreography, we threw a little more fun into it than usual and we hope that it lands 
And yeah, for for the music choices, we took we took disco, and for the second part, a, a little bit more of an electro swing, Lindy Hop kind of thing. And yeah, the first music is a little bit more like unknown, mm -hmm. and the second music is uh, Black Betty, just a different cover. So yeah. Yeah, I thought that was fun because it's music that I know, having listened to. Um, Anik and Robert, the German pair team, were using that last year, and other teams have used it, but that you're doing a really fun, uh, different version of it that goes well with the with the disco and 70s and all of that combined. Yep, yep. Um, and for the free dance, what is your music for that? Um, it's called Adagio. It's um, performed by a um, singer from Kazakhstan, hmm. Dimash. Yeah, he's called Dimash. Um, and our coaches picked the music out. I think they picked it out um, last year already, but they wanted us to grow into that music more and to be more mature. And I think now they think that we've grown to that music. So, yeah. It seems like you have to bring a lot of kind of intensity and almost sort of darkness to that program to keep going through that. Does that something that feels natural to you. I often think of you as a team that does sort of energetic or um, quirky or programs in some ways. I mean, for the free dance, we usually took like slower music and especially our first free dance was a very slow bit more energetic music. And that was the kind of thing that brought us out there. So we wanted to get back to that a little bit. And um, yeah, this music is very I'd say difficult to skate because it just rises, rises and rises, doesn't stop. So we have to show that in our skating skills as well. We can't, you know, we can't lose power or mm -hmm. anything like that during the program. So we have to rise with the music. And that's kind of a challenge we wanted to take on, especially going into the seniors, just to show that we're ready for it. We can do that. And yeah, that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah, so that's keeping up the speed and the quality with exactly, that. Exactly. Um, but we still didn't want to lose out on our difficulty, so we tried to keep like difficult, uh, difficult elements, difficult transitions, and but still grow in terms of speed and power. Yeah. And last year, I think your sort of reimagined Carmen was such a fun program, but it was such a difficult program that it seemed like it maybe didn't quite gel and maybe that was partly with the some of the delays and illness and all of that that you're dealing with what do you think working on that program taught you i think it taught us to take on challenges that maybe we weren't ready for and um i think with this time around we're trying to still take on those challenges but not lose out on the things we lost out on last year and yeah, I think so far it works out quite well. And I think we can build up on that foundation. But yeah. I also think that it was a complete different style than we did before. For example, this year, the more lyrical music, I think it fits us a little bit better. So I think it's a good idea to schedule that, that this year. But last year, the Carmen was completely different. So I think we it taught us to skate to a different style and overall just new experience. Yeah, it's always fun to try new things, especially since it's only the, I mean, it's, yeah. it's already like middle into our career, but we're still at the beginning and we're still trying out new flavors, new styles. And so I think that was important last year for sure. Um, but yeah, I think our style goes more, if, especially in the free dance into the lyrical kind of like deep edges, deep knee kind of thing. and. That's what we're doing this year. Cool. Well, and I think you might have inspired some teams to take on Carmen this year. I've been hearing rumors about some dance and pairs that might be going in that, that route. So maybe you kind of re-energize people to think they could take it on again. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to hear. Um, and so this summer, did you feel like you got to do anything for fun off the ice or anything, anything different other than your regular training? I mean, we've had a lot of like uh, off ice practice in terms of uh, like trying out different dance styles, trying out Lindy Hop, trying out 
uh, Jive, trying out disco, like all these different 50s to 70s dance styles. I think that was quite fun, yeah. especially like, you know, you can use some of that stuff you do in the ballroom. You can use that on the ice, but of course not, not like everything. Uh, and so I think, yeah, that was quite fun. Just, you know, trying out new dance styles, maybe see what fits, see what doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Learning new elements, like new lifts, new transitions. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah. That's always fun. Well, it seems like the lifts and the transitions and everything just get more complex and acrobatic every year. And I know that that means that, Daria, you have to be really acrobatic, but also I've seen some of your backflips and things that you can do off the ice. Gail, have you thought about trying to do any of that stuff yourself? I mean, backflips are allowed now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I, I've thought about that, actually. I've thought about, like, implementing, you know, maybe the, the, the B-twist, raspberry twist that Malinian does. Uh, I thought about implementing backflip, but I still have to talk to our coaches about that. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe in the coming seasons. Maybe, you know, do, do, because I would enter an exhibition for... Yeah, it, was, sorry, it was still in debate uh, yeah. while we're doing the program, so... I didn't bring it out to our coaches yet, but maybe in the coming seasons, maybe in some exhibition numbers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can't do that stuff. I need his assistance. So please don't overshare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he can't be flipping while you're also trying to flip. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a little different implementing yeah. it in like a couple than implementing it while you're solo dancing or, you know, single skating. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> My last question for you is just, um, is there anything that you're enjoying from the Summer Olympics? I don't know if you've gotten to see anything, but that's going on, you know, while we're talking. And do you have a favorite sport to watch outside of skating? Um, I watched some gym gymnastics. Yeah. That was really impressive. Um, yeah, Simone is just unbeatable. Let's be honest here. She's just incredible. Um like um, the rhythmic gymnastics because um, the German girl is also very good. Yeah. So I like to see that. But. Yeah. Also, I have you know I have roots in gymnastics because I've I've been doing before I was doing figure skating. I also did gymnastics, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm also really excited that they're implementing breakdance this year. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really really excited for that. I think they haven't started it though. Uh, yeah. I think it's I think it's actually starting next week. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, I, I like look, uh, watching every kind of ball sports, so like yeah. basketball, football. So yeah, there's a lot of sports I'd like to watch and I'm watching in the current Summer Olympics. Very cool. Well, I think there's probably some overlap between the breakdance and figure skating. At least I am interested to watch how that competition goes. And I like the idea of trying out some of the like one-on-one -on -one kind of competitions yeah. in skating someday would be fun too. True. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to cheering you on for Riga. Shout out to seeing how this season goes for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>